Today, I'm gonna be committing some of the worst crimes in the world and getting away with it. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Storyteller. So this is a really fun game where you get to tell the story by building the story. Let me stop explaining. I will just start playing the game. You guys are gonna love this video. At the end of this book lies a crown. It's bestowed only to the finest storytellers of the realm. Every page is empty, save for a title. It is your duty to fill these pages with the most captivating tales. Complete this book and prove yourself worthy of the title of storyteller. So if I tell the story correctly, at the end, I will become king. All right, here we go. Life and death. So I get to name chapter one. Let's go. Let's go love. We're going to be happy for now. All right. Adam starts alone, finds love, and dies happy. Make a story with this title. All right, here we go. So Adam is alone. Then Adam meets Eve. And then I guess Eve dies. So Adam finishes... No, no, I killed Adam accidentally. Oh, no. All right. This game's going to be harder than I thought. Okay. This game's going to be harder than I thought. Can I stop that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. And there we go. Did I do a good job? If I make the story. Okay. I got the crown. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So now. Oh, we do have to go heartbreak. Oh, we got to do all of them. <laughs> we got to do all of them. All right. This one is Eve dies heartbroken. So we've got love, and then we've got death, and then we've got Eve. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is tough. This is tough. Wait, we're going to go Adam and Eve together. Then Eve is sad because Adam died, and we have death with Adam, and Eve is sad. Did I get it? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is tricky. Eve dies heartbroken. Wait, maybe Eve is the one that dies? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, because Adam died. Okay, I, I think I just killed Adam twice last time. Adam died, and then he woke up and died again. All right, this is fun. This is fun. By the way, if you guys want to see more Storyteller on the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel right now. Okay, what if we start messing around with this game? You know I don't like playing games the way they should be played, so now we're going Afterlife. So I'm pretty sure we should start with death and Adam is sad that Eve died oh no he doesn't care okay <laughs> okay I said I was gonna start messing with the game and then I just started messing with the game accidentally I, I don't even know what I'm doing right now I don't think that's right I don't think that's right wait wait maybe Eve is sad that Adam's death no, she doesn't care either. Wait, oh, because they haven't loved yet. They haven't loved yet, so they don't care about each other because they're not in love yet. All right, so let's start with love. We're going to go Adam and Eve. They love each other. Now we have death. Who died? Which one of them died? Let's say Adam died, so Eve is sad. And then seeing the ghost of a lover? Maybe love again? Love and love? Hey, that was it. Okay. So basically, Adam and Eve fell in love. Uh, Adam died, so Eve got sad, and then Eve saw Adam as a ghost. And I don't know if she's happy or just kind of terrified. So we finished page one, which was chapter one. If I go here... Oh, wait. I might have gone back too far. I might have gone back too far. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is chapter two. This is what I need. All right. So this is broken hearts. Oh, this one sounds a little sad. Uh, a heartbreak is healed. Hmm. A heartbreak is healed. Oh, this is tough. Wait, so we've got a wedding. We've got, let's go, Bernard and Isobel. They fall in love with each other. Then, uh, let's say, let's say Bernard dies and Isobel is sad. And then... Uh, we've got another wedding because Isobel now married Edgar. Wow, I actually got that right. Okay, that is, that's actually a miracle. I'm better at this game than I thought. I thought I was going to be terrible. All right, let's book it and let's move on to miracle. So it says a heartbreak is healed. Hmm, so now I need to create a miracle. We've got, we've got the wedding... And then we've got the death. Okay. 
And then we've got the revive. So now Lenora is going to come back from the dead. And then they get married again. Yeah. All right. Go me. This is fun. I like building little stories like this. This is actually good practice for my vlog channel. I'm always trying to build good stories on my vlog channel. This is good practice for that. Which, by the way, if you've never seen my other YouTube channel, it's called TFG Vlogs. Check it out. I think you guys are going to love those videos. All right, here we go. Unlucky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is... Oh, my gosh. These stories are getting complex. These stories are really getting complex. All right, let's go with a wedding. We're going to say Lenora and Edgar. And then we've got... Oh, it says... Wait, wait, wait. It says everyone rejects Edgar. Okay, so first they got married. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. How do I... Hmm. Then we've got the death of Lenora and Edgar Sad. Now we've got another wedding. Wait, no, this looks wrong. Because Lenora... There we go, there we go, there we go. So Edgar marries Lenora. Lenora dies, so Edgar's sad. Now we're gonna do Edgar and Isabel... But then Isabel dies, and Edgar is sad. Then we're going to go another wedding, Edgar and Banad, and then Banad is going to die, and Edgar's sad. That's not right. Okay. I thought by everyone rejecting Edgar, it meant that everyone that married Edgar died. But that's, that's, uh, that would be incorrect, Brandon. Wait, I got an idea. What if... Like, Lenora and Bernard get married. And then Edgar asks Lenora to get married. But she's already married. Okay, okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. Now we're going to have a wedding. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is tricky. This is tricky. So now we're going to have to kill Bernard. We're going to have to kill Bernard. And Lenora is sad. But then, wait, oh my goodness gracious, this is tough. No, 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 and no. We're going to make Bernard there. We're going to kill Lenora. Now, we're going to have another wedding where Bernard and Isabel get married. And now, Edgar's going to try to marry Isabel. She's going to say no. We're going to get rid of that. And then... Oh my goodness gracious, this is tough. Wait, what if he just asks... What if he just asks Bernard... Or no, 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 let's go that way and that way, and he says no. Okay, okay, so basically poor Edgar over here asked every single person to marry him, and they all said no. Okay, I kind of feel bad for, for Edgar now, or as I like to say... Edgar. All right, moving on to grief. All right, surviving spouses find comfort. Hmm. Okay, it says stories can use fewer frames. Okay, so if I can tell the story in less than six frames, that's okay. So we're going to go, uh, let's go. Edgar is uh, marrying Lenora. Yes, Edgar has finally met love, so we can be happy for him. Then we're going to go Edgar dies and Lenora is sad. Now, we're going to have another wedding where Lenora meets Bernard, and then Bernard also dies, so we're going to kill Bernardo over here. Lenora is sad once again. It's very tragic. Then we're going to go Lenora and Isabel. I feel like that's it. Wouldn't that be the whole story? Surviving spouses find comfort. Hmm. All right, well, now I'm struggling here. Now I am struggling. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right. What if Edgar and Lenora get married? Then at the same time, Bernard and Isabel get married. Now we're going to have lots of death. Now we are going to have lots of death. So now Edgar dies and Bernard dies, which makes Lenora sad and Isabel sad. And then we have Isabel and Lenora. Bam. Okay. All right. So their spouses died and then they came together. I love it. All right. We just beat chapter two. Let's move on to chapter three. It's called 
apparitions. This does not sound good. How many chapters are there? Wait, can I skip forward? I just want to see how many chapters there are. Four, five, six. Wow, this is a big game. Okay, guys, let me know if you want me to come back and play more Storyteller because obviously I can make an entire series on this. All right, let's go Revelation. What do we have here? Edgar shocks himself? What? How does that happen? Edgar, no. Uh, what about we look in the mirror, Edgar looks at himself, and then Edgar has amnesia? Wait, wait, Edgar forgets himself. Okay, okay, and then he looks in the mirror... No. Hmm. Okay. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Edgar... What about Edgar dies? Then... Edgar has amnesia, forgets he dies, and then sees himself in the mirror! Okay! Edgar sees a ghost, and it's actually just him. Moving on to dismay. So it says, rejected by own spouse. So we need to start with a wedding. Let's say it's Edgar and Isobel. Then, Edgar dies. Oh, poor Edgar's gonna get- uh, Edgar's gonna get rejected again, okay? Then, Edgar comes back to life, and then he asks Isabel to marry him again, but she thinks he's dead, so she marries him. Okay, that was wrong. That was wrong. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Now, while Edgar has been dead, they get together, and then Edgar comes back to life, asks Isabel to marry him, but she's already married and she rejects him. Oh man, look, she looks shocked. Heartbroken spouses are reunited. So we've got Edgar and Lenora get married. Okay, then Edgar tragically dies and Lenora is sad. Then Edgar comes back to life and then they get married again. Was that not it? Oh, what if they both die? What if, wait, no, hmm. Heartbroken spouses are reunited. I get it. Edgar came back to life, but while he was dead, Lenora died, which made Edgar sad. But then Lenora comes back to life, and then they get married. Yeah! All right, baby! I am proud of myself for that one. Now, this is the last part of Chapter 3. This one is called Calamity, which is the name of my wife's YouTube channel, Calamity Sam. All right, moving on. We've got Heartbreak for Everyone. Oh, we're just going to make everyone sad, aren't we? We're just going to make everyone sad today. All right, so let's say Edgar and Lenora get married. Then we've got Edgar dies, which makes Lenora heartbroken, okay? Now we are going to have a wedding, Lenora and Isabel. Now we've got Lenora dies, which makes Isabel sad. And then, uh, oh goodness gracious, how are we going to do this? Maybe we bring Edgar back to life and then... Oh, wait, 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 I got it, I got it. Then we bring Lenora back to life, but then Isabel dies, which makes Lenora heartbroken. No? They're all heartbroken. Oh, wait, I never made Edgar heartbroken. Wait, 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 so let's, let's stop that. Let's bring Edgar back to life, and then... Who was he married to? Lenora? So let's kill Lenora. Wait, Lenora's already dead. Lenore is already dead, and then Edgar's heartbroken. All right! I am good at making everyone heartbroken. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.